All right. So this one, it says in the figure that the triangle ABC and DEF are similar triangles with given side lengths in meters. What is the perimeter in meters of DEF? So similar triangles means that they're proportional. The problem with proportionality is that you've got to make sure that you have the corresponding parts that correspond, right? Right. And in fact, that's kind of the running joke. What what is it? The CPCT, whatever you know, whatever the acronym is. But that's important because A we got to go in order. A corresponds to D. B corresponds to E. Okay. And then C one two three corresponds to F. Now what I did is I said those angles are congruent. In fact, by definition, that's what makes triangles similar, is that they have the same angles but different side lengths. So angle A is the same measure as angle D. But DE is a different length than, say, AB. So what I, what I really need to figure out in order to find the perimeter, I need to know what DE is. Okay. Well, I could compare any other side of DE to you know to any side of uh, the triangle because ABC I know all the side lengths. So maybe um, they give us DF, right? So I know what DF is. DF is equal to five. Now, how do I compare that to the other triangle, the similar triangle ABC? Well, D corresponds with A, and E corresponds with B. All right? D, again, corresponds with A, and F corresponds with C. Now, I could do it this way, too. A corresponds with D, B corresponds with E, and C corresponds with F. If I don't take the time to figure out what corresponds with what, I might plug the wrong number in and get the wrong answer, but by the way, that'll be one of the options on our multiple choice. So we want to make sure that we get it done correctly, okay? So what's DE? I don't know, it's just DE, right? Well, what's DF? Well, we know that that measure is five. What's A to B? Six. What is a to C, 10. So now if I cross multiply, has anybody ever taught you guys the bat and ball method? Everybody told you that with proportions? With simple proportions like this, we can do a thing called the bat and ball method. When you cross, when you cross multiply, you're going to multiply this by this, which is like a bat, and then you're going to divide by this, which is like a ball. So I could do, I could say that DE is equal to 6 times 5 divided by 10. Well, 6 times 5 is 30. 30 divided by 10 is 3. Is that the right answer? No. No? Perimeter. Good catch. Good catch. The question asks us what was the perimeter. 3 represents what? Side. The side length. So what I did is I just figured out that this is the side length. Now, in all honesty, we should recognize that both triangles are isosceles triangles, right? And so this should be 3 and this should be 3. But the perimeter is not 3, just that side length. So now to find the perimeter, what I need to do is I need to say 5 plus 3 plus 3, which is actually 11. How many kids do you think circle three? Did, is there anybody in this room? I see some people smiling. Huh? That was a good catch, though. All right, so any questions about what we did there? Now, what I was trying to model, but I'm trying to go quick because I don't want to bore people when they watch these videos. Um, what I'm trying to model is, is that you, you've got to, when you're done with your work, constantly reread the question and make sure that the number you have represents the answer to the question you're asking. So it's in the figure below, triangle ABC and DEF are similar triangles with the given side lengths in meters. 
what is the perimeter in meters of DEF? Three is not the perimeter. Okay? 